Hey there, YouTube land. So I just got off of work, literally just now, and uh, got in the door. So waiting for me were these two packages. So I figured let's open them up. I know that uh, one is from 88 Films, which we're going to check out. But this one here, I'm not quite sure because I got a, a couple things coming from the UK. Because as you know, I order a lot from the United Kingdom. And this is, yes, okay. This was the one I was waiting for from uh, Arrow uh, Video was sent actually before the arrow video stuff that I showed you uh, last week but for some reason it came later I was starting to get worried about it, I was actually gonna give a call but uh... oh man this looks awesome anyway what I grabbed was, and I'll uh, we'll actually look into it in a minute is uh, Rabbit by David Cronenberg, this is the Steelbook Edition and uh... it is gorgeous so I'll open up and show you guys in a minute there's a lot of great features on here by the way, that we've got in, uh, we have two audio commentaries. We have the uh, brand new interview plus an archive interview. Oh man, there's so much on there. Raw, rough, and rabid. The last rating legacy of Cinepix, a fe feature looking back to the early years of the celebrated Canadian production company. We got a makeup memories with Joe Blasco. And if you ever read like uh, Fangor magazine, you've seen those Joe Blasco <laughs> ads in there as well. well. We got the directors, the David Cronenberg one, the 1999 documentary on Cronenberg. With Chambers, Deborah Harry, Mark Lawrence, Peter Weir, and others talking about the director. It's a really great one. Actually, the director series is really cool. On the, uh, I think it's on the Tales of Terror one on my uh, Vincent Price box set. There's one on uh, Roger Corman, and it's amazing. So uh, we're going to open this one up in a second and just, uh, what's open up now? I'm going to get to the other ones. So Rabbit is a, is a, it's just a fun film of my, that I really, really love. Because I order from the uh, screen, from the screen, from the uh, Arrow website, I accumulate Arrow uh, points. Because every video, every DVD, Blu-ray, whatever, shirt, whatever you order from Arrow, gives you Arrow points. And when you, uh, when you use them, this one here, Rabbit, the Steelbook, cost me exactly 20 cents in shipping. That was it. And, uh, my points from the sale actually took care of everything. So let's open it up. I've not seen what it looks like opened up yet. So yes, I've got a card and a nice one too, actually. Mano Calibro 9. Hopefully I didn't get that, didn't massacre that too bad. Or some weeds on the back. So it's a really nice, really big book, actually. And uh, I love the art on this, by the way. Rabbit is a interview with Marilyn Chambers here. So we got some pretty cool stuff. It's got the cast thing and the from this is what the uh, non steelbook edition looked like. We have a uh, mixed credits: plastic surgery disaster, the rabbit, the October crisis, and the pathological body politic done in 2014 by Kirla Janice. A Biologically Correct Vampires, 1992, Extraction from Cronenberg on Cronenberg by Dave Cronenberg, and Interview with Marilyn Chambers, 2005, done by Kellen Waddle, and uh, then about the transfer. Inside here you can see that's a Blu-ray DVD combo. And, uh, see the character on the inside. So, loaded with features. It came with this, which is very extremely cool. <clears throat> Love the steel books, and uh, you can't trust your mother, your best friend, the girl next door. Pray it doesn't happen to you. Rabbit. Extremely gorgeous looking steel book. Glad to have that one added to my collection. Now we open up my very first order from 88 Films, and more than likely from uh, the type of stuff that 88 Films is putting out, this is far from going to be my last order from 88 Films. We so actually got this in to me, all things considered, when I ordered this, quicker than the Arrow stuff did, so that was a real surprise. <clears throat> I ordered the... Uh, Set which came with uh, 
eight, what's the game, sorry, six films. And the added in a little bonus, which is actually very cool of them, I like that. Which just like the, you'll see with a lot of the, uh, the arrows sometimes, they actually add in two of those, they have two cards as well. There is a really awesome card for, uh, I mean, it's just, it's art and art nudities, okay, because it's just a rep representation for Blood Sucking Freaks. If this art is on Blood Sucking Freaks, I'm going to buy that movie. And there's like uh, stuff on the back. And here is a close card picture for Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers <coughs> with uh, some more of their films on the back. Since 88 Films started doing their <coughs> Slasher Classics collection, it got my attention big time. And what that meant for me is that I desperately wanted to own that. I'm a huge Slasher fan. If you watch my videos, then you know that Slasher tends to be one of my favorite, one of my absolutely favorite, favorite genres. And I was really excited to get these here. <clears throat> so I got one on basically pre-order right now from Amazon CA. And I will be definitely ordering the rest of them from 88 Films, especially if they're going to come like that and get those extra bonus postcards and stuff. So uh, the six I grabbed, because those were the six I wrote at the time, were Graduation Day. And as you can see, there is a uh, documentary in that one as well. So Graduation Day actually comes with, uh, it's got a new 4K restoration, uh, Graduation Memories, an exclusive interview with our author and critic Justin Kerr as well. Introduction by Lloyd Kaufman. Uh, intro, interview with Scream Queen Lenny Quigley, the Campbell Lesbian Hoden music video, directed by Lloyd Kaufman, of course directed by Lloyd Kaufman, Traumatic Film Classroom, The Iron Rip, Theatrical Trailer, 88 Films Chat Theatrical Trailer, Reversible Sleeve, Collector's Booklet by Callum Waddle, featuring an in-depth conversation with Graduation Day star Patch McKenzie. Yes, the, her name is actually Patch McKenzie. And also there's a feature-length documentary hosted by Deb Debbie Rochon, and highlighting all female casts of interviews with Michelle Bauer, Sybil Danning, da Daniel Harris, Adrian King, Melanie Kinneman, uh, Jennifer Lim, Len Lowry, K Katrina McCall, Lenny, Lenny Quigley, Brink Stevens, Patricia Tallman, Lisa Wilcox, and many, many more. So that's pretty awesome there. <laughs> that is graduation day. So let's open up graduation day. Okay, how are we going to do this one here? They're kind of like thinner, and by the way, they each have, they're all numbered. So it's got the cool number of collectability, so I want all these. So that's number one. I'm hoping that they'll have more features on Twilight Good Night, because I actually bought Twilight Good Night from Kina Lorber, and the uh, transfer was actually pretty good. I'm a huge, a huge fan of Jennifer Runyon when I was growing up. So uh, that's what I... Uh, that's where that came into. Getting that one, they have a slasher film and an early Jennifer Runyon film. If you're an 80s fan, you know she is. Because she was one of those... Kind of the... She looked like the blonde next door type of thing. Or the blonde that she wanted to have living next door at the time. Oh. I'm definitely buying a pocket knife. Because I need something for opening this here. Anyway, let's get the first one open. There are more to come, don't worry. I kind of want to keep the sticker. I'm sure what to do with that, though. So as you can see, they're very slimline cases. I like the way these are done. They're not going to take up too much room. <laughs> they have some fantastic artwork. And, uh, you open these up. And there's a, uh, a small booklet on the inside. Graduation day. A lot of, uh, Writing on it, though. And as you can see, they put the uh, blue right there. Just in case you're wondering how they do the uh, in the artwork, basically what they do is that right on here we got the Slasher Classics collection, and of course, where it's UK, we have the UK uh, stamp. Uh, but here, you can actually have it without the uh, Classic Collection logo and just have the uh, basically art on its own, unfettered by anything else. Since having things in the UK, it's more novel to me because I'm not from the UK. The UK stamp will stay on mine. Next up, we have Mother's Day, another classic film. And uh, uh, got, this one has an auto commentary by Charles Kaufman and Rex Piano. Uh, of course, Charles Kaufman interview, Rex Piano intro, and Charles Kaufman intro. 
behind the scenes Super 8 footage. That's going to be pretty cool. Eli Roth talking about Mother's Day. Charles Kaufman and Darren Bozeman talk Mother's Day. That's pretty cool. Tactical trailer, TV spots, graduation day trailer, 80 Films trailer reel, collector's booklet by Callum Waddle featuring an in-depth conversation with Scream Queen Nancy Hendrickson. So let's uh, get this here opened up as well. As you can see, there's some gorgeous art on these here films. And uh, I know this slasher films and this style of film is not for everyone, but uh, it was tailor-made for me who grew up in the 80s. I uh, really, really love this style of film. So you open it up, and the Mother's Day booklet, Matriarchal Memories. Again, the uh, and the interior art for that is it would be the same, but I'll just show you anyway. You can tell it's pretty much the same as the outside, except to it's remove this here and remove that there as well. So you can just have the unfettered artwork. This is number two. Next up is a classic that I really want to watch, actually. And that is Don't Go in the Woods Alone. Um, I recently listened to a Vinegar Syndrome Anyway, because they also put this movie out. All the cases get cracked with something in the woods. Let's hope there's no more cracks here. No, there's not. I may have to order a replacement case. They're lucky that, uh, it's lucky that they actually do give you the chance to order replacement cases. There's a crack you can see right there. It's a big one. The case is only cost a buck, so it's not too bad. Force to Fear. From the way that these were sent, I'm seeing that uh, 88 Films is probably like a smaller, more indie company. But I've heard great, great stuff about all the stuff they, that they've done. Just some amazing, amazing, uh, incredible work. So, uh, really looking forward to this. Uh, this one here has a brand new 2K transfer, audio commentary by director James Bryan. Uh, group commentary by Darren Miller. Mary Gail Arts and, and James Bryan, which I'm guessing is uh, the, uh, okay, what's the name of them? I uh, used to have their, I used to listen to the podcast actually. Making of Don't Go in the Woods, which actually is an hour long making of this movie. Uh, talk show appearances, theatrical trailer, producer, sorry, poster and production, stills, gallery, 88 films, trailer reel, first we'll sleeve, and of course the, uh, the card collector's book that I just showed you guys. And this one here is number three. Don't get familiar with that though, you don't. I think the next one's going to be number four and like that because uh, they were put out in different order. Next up is one that a lot of people have been picking up, and uh, most of my friends on Cathodre picked up this movie. This was actually their first slasher collection, one that they, uh, that they chose to grab. I know that my friend Mark and Skinslip have it. Uh, I think I'm not sure if Lauren has it or he's going to grab it. But it is Slaughterhouse. Yes, Slaughterhouse, the one that uh, a lot of people wanted that hadn't been out on uh, on any like legitimate DVD format on, before. I think like a. So we got a brand new director approved uncut HD transfer. <clears throat> Rick Rosler interview an auto commentary with uh, Rick Rosler and Jerry Inco. Jerry Inco interview raw on set footage. Buddy meets the public theatrical trailer. Eight eight films trailer reel. First we'll sleeve, TV spots, no smoking trailer, collector's booklet by Callum Waddle, and we'll open up the booklet and let's see. Pretty much all the same, they're kind of like smaller booklets, but uh, I'll take a smaller booklet with good writing in it, as long as it's got the uh, stuff that I want. And this is definitely the stuff that I want. I'm extremely impressed. I love the fact that you put the, uh, the number down there on the, uh, the Blu-ray, so you know exactly which one it is. In Slaughterhouse, Buddy has an axe to grind. A big axe. Overall, I gotta say, I'm extremely impressed with their, uh, their stuff. You know, one, you know, glitch aside with the casing. And I'm not gonna be, like, too 
upset to be honest with you about that because like, stuff happens through the mail and um, six Blu-rays and one yeah I can uh, I, I can definitely put up with that Hollywood Chain Soakers Slasher Classics Collection They Charge an Arm and I'm like bless you honey <clears throat> this one is really cool for many many reasons not the least of is it includes Lenny Quigley's classic horror workout video and with a commentary no less uh, yeah, the horror workout video has a commentary. It's very cheesy, uh, very fun. It's got a bonus commentary with Linda Quigley and the director of the video. Uh, plus, we also have brand new director overseeing re restoration of this film here. Uh, 5.1 DTS HDMA soundtrack. Booklet, of course, uh, featuring extensive career spanning interview with Gunnar Hansen. Idol commentary with director Fred Olin Rand, Dave Dakota. Original theatrical trailer. Idol commentary with genre experts Callum Motto. Director of Slice and Dice, the slasher film Forever, and Justin Kurzweil, author of Teenage Wasteland, the slasher film Uncut. Fred Olin Ray's Night Owl Theater, that's what's actually cool, it's his uh, wife's in that one. Uh, Remembering Chainsaw Hookers, 27 Years Later, Archiving, Making of Documentary, Reversible Sleeve, with the original poster art, and 80 Films trailer. This may be w the one that I, aside from the, uh, <coughs> of course, don't don't go into the woods on the, uh, the graduation that I was looking forward to the, the most. Well, I wrote that on the same range. Because actually, all of these, there's not a one here that I don't want, really want to watch over again. Like, really enjoy it for what it is. I'm, yeah, I'm way excited about the stuff that I got here today. I mean, everything that I got here today. I've, there's so much more exciting stuff coming too, by the way, guys. So keep an eye on that. And uh, so we got Howard St. Soaker. So we got an interview here with Gunnar Hansen. So basically, we show Gunnar there. And, okay. Not naked, so they're, they're in bikinis. There you go. So I'm <clears throat> interested in checking that out. Again, we have the uh, Blu ray and uh, show the cover here without the. Uh, I would change hookers, it's always one of those fun little films. Uh, it's number six, by the way. The other one was number five, so it's number four. It's not out yet. <clears throat> As you know, I got the Hollywood Chance Hookers thing there, so I am extremely impressed with uh, these here. This is my first order from 88 Films, and it definitely will not, not even remotely be my last order. They are de they're playing at the American Ninja set, or they put that one out, and I, that one interests me, and they're. Some, I want the entire Slasher Classic Collection, especially, I've seen them online, you know, I'm here holding them in my hands right now, and uh, didn't know I was going to be able to do that, but I'm very excited about that. So, uh, <clears throat> this is the this is the Boogeyman. I finally have it in the uh, HD transfer, and this is an extremely cheesy movie starring Susanna Love, it's got a John Carradine as well. Uh, Bonus features, TV spots, 80 Films trailer reel, the Boogeyman trailer, reversible sleeve, there's an interview with director Willie Lomo, and collector's booklet, Waddle in the Name of Love, featuring an in-depth conversation with Scream Queen Susanna, Susanna Love. As you, uh, if you've seen my recent uh, re review of Boogeyman 2, which was hilarious, oh, this is a bigger one actually, so the booklets are starting to get bigger, so Boogeyman, and, uh, I know it was a four page booklet. This is like over double that. So it's nice to see they're expanding the booklets, <coughs> which especially makes sense. And not only that, but there is this cover of the Boogeyman. And oh, I'm actually changed this one over because there is this original cover of the Boogeyman. So uh, that, was, that was the first time they actually did the artwork differently. So wow. So they're starting to get into like doing some different. Uh, Alternate, alternate art on the inside, which is really cool. So, and this one, by the way, is number 10. So there is at least 10 or 11 of these that are coming up right now. So these are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and 10. <clears throat> Slasher Classics Collection, because those are the ones that are out right now. I'm extremely proud to be adding these to my collection. Uh, graduation Day. Mother's Day. Don't go in the woods alone. Slaughterhouse, Hollywood Chance of Hookers, The Boogeyman, and 
the amazingly cool Steelbook from Arrow video of Rabbit, the one of the original, really cool, really awesome David Cronenberg films. Cronenberg's early stuff, the uh, Shivers and Rabbit, stuff like that. Th that was some amazing work that Cronenberg was doing then. One minute, they're perfectly normal. The next Rabbit. And again, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Steelbook, which I love. So. This is my uh, my haul for today. Yesterday, all my friends were like uh, posting their hauls on my uh, Facebook and stuff like that, like and what they've gotten. Uh, Skins have got the got an early edition of uh, Society to review, and Lauren got Mad Max early because he'd ordered it from Screen Factory. Well, today my eye came, so there. <clears throat> now I have something to show as well. I really love the fact that they sent these postcards as well. So, uh, Blood Sucking Freaks. Man, if this is the art in Blood Sucking Freaks, I want this movie. It's a very cheesy movie. Very fun. And, uh, Hollywood Chainsaw Hooker is another very cheesy, fun film. I want to see some stuff that they're putting out. They're doing an Italian collection, they're doing a, uh, a slasher collection. We started doing a lot of uh, stuff like uh, a lot of trauma and a lot of uh, full moon stuff. And they've kind of like branched off from there, but they're a smaller company that's really worth checking out. There we go, guys. Seven new Blu-rays added to the collection. Very cool, very awesome stuff. This is one of my favorite unboxings that I've done in a long, long time. Now i got to get something neat because my better half has, a, has an exercise class that she needs to go to in a little bit, and I'm going to be going there with her. Oh, and then I'm going to come home afterwards, and I'm going to put on some of the features that are on this stuff here. I may watch the Screen Queens documentary tonight. That is so awesome. So many cho choices. Huh. I'm feeling really, really good right now. And I had like a really not great day at work, so this really, really helps. I'm glad that Parsnip, that you got your uh, got your movies. So uh, I think that's Lawrence still to come and uh, Falgar. So let me know when you guys get your stuff, Sammy and, and Lauren. And, uh, oh, man. If you've never ordered from Arrow Video I re and you've got a region free player, or in the UK, I strongly, strongly recommend it. And if you've been waiting to order from 88 Films, they've got a lot of great stuff. If you're a slasher fan like me, you cannot pass up these cool slasher editions. I mean, honestly, can you really pass up Hollywood Chains Hookers with the Linea Quigley horror video workout? Of course not. It's got it even got its own commentary for crying out loud. This is just an amazing thing to pick up. Pick up these 88 Films classic collection. They got cool, sexy looking red cases. They've got amazing features on them. Uh, a lot of work is put into this stuff. Definitely the, a lot of heart. <clears throat> they're s snazzy. They're slimline, so they fit nicely into a, into your collection. And uh, amazing stuff. Just amazing, amazing stuff. Slasher Classics Collection, uh, Arrow Steelbook. I'm feeling awesome right now. I'm going to go. I'm going to have some tea. I have some supper before I go to uh, the uh, maybe before I go out with my better half for her workout. Enjoy your day. Happy Wednesday. What a fantastic way to uh, to get over that, that hump of uh, Wednesday's whole hump day to get into the rest of the week. So uh, I'm back and do some, doing some training for uh, to upgrade on my uh, where I'm working at. I'm not looking forward to the training because it's going to be boring as heck. And honestly, I'd rather be doing the job than I would be training on stuff. But two weeks of training, but uh, I'll get out early, and from training I go in early, but I'll get out early, it'll still be late, which is awesome, and I'll be able to come back and watch some of these slasher classics, that is awesomeness. Thanks for watching, have a great day, say hello to the great pin lord in the sky, say hi to my better half who's over there, always off camera, she's just a sneezer of cop away apparently, and uh, my neurotic cat Smokey, who's the only cat in this room, but I have more cats. Thanks for watching guys, and uh, Love the postcards. Have a great day. It is time for two.